Member for Clona Lake Country. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Today, on the International Day Against Homophobia, Transphobia, and Biphobia, I stand with members of the LGBTQ2 communities to celebrate gender diversities and combat discrimination on grounds of sexual orientation or gender identity. All individuals are equals as human beings, and human rights are universal and inalienable. The World Health Organization's removal of homosexuality as a mental disorder in 1990 helped ch challenge stigmas and increase access to health care and social support. However, Mr. Speaker, with more than one-third of the world still criminalizing same-sex relationships today, we have a lot more work to do as the LGBTQ people continue to experience prejudice, stigma, and hostility. Discrimination against this community is not only unethical, but also entails substantial economic and social costs as people who experience homophobia are at greater risk of depression, substance abuse, and mental disorder. LGBTQ people should be able to be who they are without harassments or attacks based on fear. As individuals, we need to do our part to counter our unconscious bias and create a sense of belonging for the LGBTQ community. As a society, we must continue to advocate for equal rights for the LGBTQ community, as no one deserves to be denied civil rights, legal protection, or essential services because of who they are. Mr. Speaker, let's work together to build a tolerant and inclusive society for everyone to live and fulfill their potential in British Columbia. Today, on the International Day Against Homophobia, Transphobia, and Biphobia, on this International Day, Mr. Speaker, let's make sure we keep this in mind every day. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.